basically, um, our coaches kind of just um, came and um, basically told us the news that the season um, was kind of canceled, and we, of course, like, saw things online beforehand, and so we kind of had an idea about it, but um, we didn't know for sure. Um, and so, yeah, just um, we kind of had a team meeting, and um, our coaches just kind of sat us down and said, you know, like, we're kind of done for the rest of the season, unfortunately. And it was definitely kind of a shock because it just happened really fast in the span of, like, literally two days. Um, and Coach um, Coach Clark, like, he, he kind of joked about it a couple days beforehand and was like, yeah, I'm like, honestly, I'm not really sure what's going to happen. And, of course, like, we were all like, oh, no, no, like, the season won't get canceled. Like, there's no way. Um, and then the next day, we basically found out that it was canceled. So um, it, it was definitely an adjustment. Um, I know that first day after uh, our coaches kind of sat us down and talked to us, we all kind of got together as a team later in the day and kind of were just really upset but tried to be there for each other. And um, it was definitely a, a hard a hard feeling to kind of get over and whatnot. And um but, you know, obviously, like, we, everybody understood why it was happening and whatnot, so, yeah. What do you just think the toughest thing about being a high-level athlete at this point who has their season canceled is? Probably the hardest part is just that sports are really what our life kind of revolves around. Um, you know, all of us have been playing since, you know, I was playing since I've been five years old, and we've always just been competing and training and kind of just, like, our life just revolves around, you know, our sport. And so um, I think when that gets kind of taken away from us, not, you know, not in our control, um, it, it's definitely a big adjustment. And it was, just, it's a shock. And I think we all just didn't really know what to do with ourselves. And even now we're still kind of struggling. And it's like, what, you know, what do we do? Where, where does our, like, where, you know, we're also competitive, like, where do we put that to, and, um, I think just being, a, like, a high, or, like, an athlete, it's just really tough to not have that constant in your life, because that's really the one constant that I think we all have, um, and it's something that we've literally been doing our whole lives, so how do we kind of live without that is, uh, definitely, definitely something that we kind of, I feel like, are dealing with and grieving in a way right now. Yeah, certainly. Um, you know, you guys don't have that many seniors on your in your program right now, but you do have a lot of freshmen, which is maybe a little bit different than some people have been thinking about, you know, like what, what would seniors do with their eligibility. Um, but what, what is it like for these freshmen who have, you know, maybe gotten used to things and really settled in and gotten comfortable at this point, and then, boom, all of a sudden it's all open? Um, yeah, for sure. It's, I mean, it's such a crazy thing. I think for freshmen, um, I kind of try to think about it, you know, if this had happened to me freshman year, um, how much of a shock it would have been for me because, you know, we were just kind of, our season really just started kind of going and um, started really getting in the rhythm of things, I think. Um, and it's just really tough, you know, coming in your freshman year and having these expectations of, what you think college tennis is going to be like um, and, you know, finishing the season and, and working through the tough parts of the season and, you know, having great moments in the season and having that just kind of, like, taken away out of nowhere um, is definitely really tough. And I think a lot of our freshmen, um, we kind of talk to them and whatnot and just, like, kind of you can tell, like, how much it just really, like, put a damper on their mood and, um really just, like, how upsetting it was for them. And, of course, it's upsetting for the whole team, but I think, like, you know, you have that freshman year excitement, and to kind of have that taken away is just a really, like, a pretty awful feeling, I would think. Um, and I know you guys, in, in tennis, it might be a little bit easier than in some other sports where you're in really close contact with people. Um, but, you know, you, you can kind of maybe stand across the net and, you know, besides, like, touching – the tennis balls or whatever, not really spreading germs or anything. Um, how are you guys just kind of planning to, to train? And, you know, is 
are people on the team staying on campus or, you know, I know you guys have a lot of out of state people too. Like are, are people going home, staying on campus? What's sort of the, the deal with that and the plan with there? Um, yeah, I think right now, um, I'm pretty sure everybody is off campus now. Um, we had a couple girls stay back just a little bit longer to kind of try to figure out what they were doing. Um, but now, uh, most of our team is really just out of state. And so I think everybody for the most part went home just because like, we don't really know how long, you know, campus is going to be shut down and whatnot. And, um, just, you know, I guess being with family when... Um, such a crazy time is going on, um, but I think with training-wise, it, I agree. It, we were actually talking about that, that tennis is kind of one of those sports that you can really keep training just because you're not really in contact, and um, that's kind of, you know, that's the great part about it. Um, you know, the only thing is just, like, a lot of the tennis courts and clubs are uh, closed down right now just because they don't want, you know, people coming in and out and, um that kind of thing, but, I mean, other than that, you know, hopefully if it, this whole, you know, virus thing calms down a little bit, um, I think tennis is kind of one of those sports that it's great because you can still really just keep training without really, um, you know, being in the, like, having the virus potentially spread to you or your loved ones, so um, it's definitely an advantage, I think, for our sport. Coach Clark talked about how you guys, you know, obviously had a really brutally tough schedule um, at the beginning of the season and, and, you know, that he felt that, you know, after the Purdue match and, and even leading into that, you guys were kind of coming around and, and really growing a lot. Um, what do you feel about that and just how tough is it to have your season ended, you know, when maybe you guys really do feel like you're starting to click and gel together? Um, yeah, for sure. Um, you know, Coach's whole motto is, you know, having a tough schedule all year long so that, you know, we're getting the best competition that we can and we're improving with every match. And, um, you know, my freshman year, that definitely went our way. Like, you know, we had a great pre preseason before the it all worked out. And this year it was a little bit different. Um, you know, we kind of struggled a little bit at the beginning just with um, how tough the schedule was and, you know, a couple matches just didn't go our way and um, it's definitely um, it's definitely like it, it's, there's goods and bads of having a tough schedule for sure um, but I think this year we really just kind of worked through um, the kinks like we had team meetings with the freshmen and really tried to figure out, you know, why things weren't necessarily clicking right away and um, how to get through that. And we would come back to the practice court and try new things and try to figure out, um, you know, how to how to make it better and really just, um, yeah, it's just a, a big adjustment. And, um, but I think we kind of started getting there and, um, you know, with the Purdue match, uh, you know, they may have not been like, as tough of a team as we have been playing beforehand, but um, they they were a good team, and I think just with how confidently we kind of beat them and how good it felt to be out there, all kind of it just felt really uh, connected, and um, it really had felt like we had like worked through some things, and it was a really great feeling to be out there, and um, I think definitely like that was going to lead into our Big Ten season and give us that momentum, and I think. Just having that and then the season being canceled right after that match, uh, it's definitely a tough feeling just because we've really worked hard um, behind the scenes to try to figure out, you know, um, how to get the results and how to improve. So uh, it's definitely, definitely not a good time, I think, to have um, our season canceled just because, you know, we were uh, 